Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the new Centara update, as well as shedding some light on the new lore that came with it. Before we continue, I just want to give a massive shout out to this guy for making these awesome drawings, which I'll be using in all of my videos from here on out. Now, let's continue. So, I'm just going to start with the lore of the new maps. The Mons Planus, the first map, is the name of a town situated in the subtropical hills of southern Cetus. When Antares invaded in 1911, the Cetans had to divert around half of their manpower to the new southern frontier, with two divisions being deployed to the general area around Mons Planus, due to the town being located on the side of a strategic ridge. The soldiers deployed to Mons Planus hastily dug lines and lines of defenses, occasionally being helped by the civilians. They managed to hold out for nearly three months until they were pushed back by Antares in 1911. The farmstead on which the map takes place is not the full town of Mons Planus. Now for the other map, Whitemouth Estuary. Before the war, Whitemouth Estuary was a relatively quiet yet popular vacation spot for pretty much anyone on the continent of Centara due to its Mediterranean style climate and beaches. The town of Goldcrest, which was situated along the mouth of the Whitemouth River, was not very populous, yet had a thriving tourist industry. Many of the people who worked at the various restaurants, theaters, and amusement parks in the area did not live in Goldcrest, but rather in one of the two larger cities to the north and south of the town, Deneb and Olstors. When Antares invaded in 1911, the Cedans dug extensive trenches and bunkers around the town, but saw little action due to Antares not giving a crap about Goldcrest. When the Antarans finally did capture Goldcrest in February of 1912, they were met with little resistance as most of the seated marines and naval vessels stationed there fled to regroup on the outlying western islands near the estuary, where the, re where the remaining officers spent several months planning until August when they landed in Goldcrest and launched a final offensive to try and take back their homeland. This offensive included about 7,000 marines and a few dozen cruisers and destroyers. At first, they had some success managing to push the Antarans a few dozen miles north to the city of Deneb. The Antaran garrison in Deneb slowly started pushing the Cetans back until they were forced to retreat back to the western islands, where they opted to sail north to Rhea, where they were welcomed as heroes and incorporated into the Rhean navy. The late stages of the South Corvus War also saw the introduction of poison gas by Antares, which was used to deadly effect against the Cetans. Antares also pioneered the first tanks during the war, with the Reichel M1 being the first tank ever. Overall, I think this new update was a great addition to the game, and I really enjoyed researching the lore for this video. If you guys have any ideas for future updates, feel free to share those in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. See ya!